Slump City Podcast! Oh, that's beautiful. What'd you say, bitch? And... Action, action, boom! Action, action. Are we, we're recording on both of them? Is that one at the bottom right recording on your MacBook? I'm not trying to tell Randy how to do his job. I'm just, I'm Would you even know? Oh, no, I would not know. But I'm used to seeing like a little play button or whatever. A play button? Yeah, something like that. You dumb, stupid looking bitch. Yeah. Oh my God. It's so nice to look at these right now. I know. Like we've been recording them from the fucking road, only recorded one or whatever. While it, it's just, this is nice. It's nice to be back. It's nice to be back home with Randall R. Cash. Yay, but we today we're, we might have to cut it a little short because Randy's got to be out right at 7 and we're not going to be making him late, okay? Nope. We are not making him late. So. I had to pick Tina up because... <laughs> we only have one wow. car, Rafe's Jeep got towed. Her partner is a complete loser and doesn't have a <laughs> car right now. He's a total fuck up, man. What a loser who... I would never date a guy that didn't have a car. Uh-huh. <laughs> you should break up with him till he gets a car. Yeah, I'll be like, hey... You got to go, but still pay rent because I need it. (laughs) What Mm. a loser. Yep. Oh, we clapped. We already clapped. You You want us to do it again? Let's just do it again, just in case. That was perfect. That was a really good one. That was called group mind. Yeah. Um, Today, can I tell you something real quick? Please. Uh, He's going to fire us. He's going to fire us. Oh, my God. I went, I was doing a walkthrough at work for a job. And I heard this, the, these clowns at work had the point blasting. And I'm like, dude, I recognize that fucking voice. And I was, it was early in the morning. And I haven't been smoking weed in a couple of weeks either. Like, I quit smoking. I quit smoking weed. I've done all kinds of shit since y'all been gone. What? And I'm what? sitting there and I'm not paying. These homeowners are trying to give me this detailed information about this stuff that I'm supposed to be making a list with the project manager, two project managers and homeowners. I'm not paying attention. I'm like, who is that fucking person on the radio? And then they're like, hey, are you paying attention, Randy Cash? And I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, but I'm really trying to figure out. I'm like, dude, that really sounds like, oh, it's Rafe Williams. I yep. texted Rafe. I'm like, dude, are you on the radio? Because you're fucking me up here at work. <laughs> um, so the so, guy. Yeah, that's my great riveting story that I interrupted everything for. Randy, you're fine. We miss you. We want to talk to you. So listen, this more the guy that towed Rafe's Jeep yesterday, um, I think he tweeted at the Riz show this morning and was like, Hey, man, when I picked up your Jeep yesterday, I knew I recognized you. I knew it was you, man. Like, tweeted it at the Riz show this morning. That's so funny. Hilarious. Dude, they're, like, crazy popular. They got, like, millions of listeners and shit. Whoa. The people love the Riz show. Don't we? Yeah. Have millions of listeners or love the Riz show? Millions of listeners. Okay. Oh, yeah. We've got... Oh, yeah. We're... We should be making the kind of money that they are, but uh, somehow we're not. Well, I will say this. Always receive lots of messages because people are worried the podcast is going to end, you know, because I'm moving. Mm-hmm. And they just say, it can't, you can't have the podcast without Randy. You can't. Can't have it without Randall. You can't. This will be fucked without you. Number, I mean, you saw the trash we put out while you were gone. <laughs> I like the, the, the road. One was a fucking brilliant idea. In theory. Except for the... There's nothing you can do about that. What do you think happened there? What is your honest diagnosis? Because I've got a lot of theories. I Like when I drive, it's something in my ashtray or in the cup holder that's just, you know, kind of rattling, going... So you can know Randy's really well off because he has a classic car with an ashtray in it. It's a... Fucking red Ford Windstar <laughs> with 194,000 miles and a big ass dent because some jack off cut me off at the dentist and I smashed the side in. Yeah. Dude, the, de- the dentist is just fucking you right now, Randy. He, he is. Did you miss us while we were gone? Like, honestly, or were you kind of glad to have the dude. break? Like, All I've what's... been doing, like, I, I quit smoking cigarettes. I haven't smoked weed in a couple weeks. What the weeks. fuck's wrong with you, Yeah, brother? so what's happening with that? Let's go through that. Why are you quit smoking cigs? Why'd you quit smoking weed? Are I, you still uh, doing weed rectally? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Duh. Uh, I had some dental work done, and I couldn't smoke. Mm-hmm. I couldn't, you know, drink through a straw or smoke or anything. So I was like, fuck it, dude. I ain't going back. 
And wow. how do you feel mentally? Do you feel okay? Dude, I'm... <laughs> wow. Still okay, crazy. I have been... Cigarettes are fine. I'm good with that. Uh, the weed, I'm like way overstimulated, man. It's it, it's too much. It's sensory overload. Yeah. Uh, it, I'm, I'm not like, I'm going to never smoke weed again. No, I, I have some really good shit over there. Just wait. And I was just going to kind of hold off. Uh, I wanted to go a couple of weeks and just see if I could like detox and see how my creativity goes without smoking weed. Uh-huh. Like, I, I got like a string of shows coming up next weekend so i was gonna try to not smoke weed until then and see if i could get through the first show because i don't do comedy high or anything but i i I, i'll get high and i'll come up with bits while i'm high and then i edit them while i'm sober okay Uh, i don't like to do any performing unless i'm sober yeah uh but i want to see how my creativity goes sober for a while i don't know what happens that's all an experiment, if you will. What it, what have you found so far? Because you're like two weeks in. Do you feel like your creativity is better? Or do you feel like it's the same? I'm so... The sensory overload is fucking me up. Oh, yeah. that's me every day. All day. That's why I smoke weed. I got to self-medicate, dude. I have, you know... I'm batshit crazy, man. Yep. The voices in my... I'm, it's, uh, to be honest, I don't want to get too deep into this, man. I wanted to see if I could battle the voices in my head without weed. Yeah. And I'm not doing so good. Well, no. I'm doing better the last couple of days. The thing is, is that you can. Yeah. It's possible. Yes. It's just hard. It's very hard. Very difficult. Dude, re- li- we were talking about like um, when we were on the road, like certain things with like OCD or whatever. And I'm like, I don't know if it's like OCD that I have or if I'm just like a fucking straight lunatic or whatever. But my thing that I do in my head all the time Because remember this conversation we were having Mm -hmm. about the inner monologue people? Mm -hmm. Like, people that don't have inner monologues, I do, I don't get it. And I asked the person that I do know in my life, like, so what do you think about? They're like, I don't know, nothing. You know, I'm like, what? (laughs) I'm like, how does that, like, like, do you see things in your brain as pictures or what? I've always had an inner monologue, dude, even when I was a kid. Yeah, it's hard. Those voices are hard. Uh, the voices in your head, Randy, are they uh, va- voices of other people? Or oh, Like no. your deep inner monologue it's that's like my, obsessive. Okay. The monologue is fine. Um, I don't share this shit public too much. Uh, well, you don't have, I have to. No, Whatever no, you're comfortable good. with, honey. Is I this have, the one that tells you to kill your cat? Yes. No, kill my... It's my... It's my <laughs> they're my demons, my my self-loathing voices. 100%. You know? They're they're very powerful. They have always been there my entire life as a child. They were reinforced in some very negative ways by mm-hmm. people, and uh, it took a very long time and a whole lot of therapy for me to get to terms to come to terms with that stuff and to understand that it's like metaphorically, it's like an answering machine message. It just keeps replaying, and I'm try I have been trying to reprogram that most of my life. And then I just started self medicating. I was on you know like antidepressants and shit for a while, and I figured out how to reprogram the message enough for me to at least function every day Mm -hmm. and to kind of turn the volume down. And then, you know, I started smoking weed a little bit more and found like, you know, some balance there, you know, does that make sense? hundred percent. I feel like that's something we all like struggle with and have all talked about. Like, Oh dude, I know. Like I saw someone that was like, uh, while we were on the road, Beth and I were in the car and this girl, somebody was honking their car over and over and over again. And at first I was like mad. I'm like at a a gas station parking lot. And I'm like, what the fuck is going on here? Like who the fuck is doing that? And I look over and there's some fucking dumb white guy with like, you just, you know, drinking his fucking soda and spitting in a dip cup at the same time. And like his big truck. And I thought it was him. And I'm like, what's this fucking old geezer doing, man? Like, and I looked at him like, hey, hey, man. And then I walk over and I see a girl in her van who is nodding off, clearly high on heroin, and conking the horn over and over and over again. And what I am about to say, even in the moment, I could not believe that I thought this. Like, during that whole experience, because basically, like, Beth and I ended up getting the keys from this girl because she was so fucked up. She was going to drive over the ramp. She was trying to drive 
get move her car. She was going to drive over the ramp and drive into fucking oncoming traffic and like probably kill someone, maybe kill herself or at least go to prison. It's like this girl being an addict shouldn't necessarily be a crime, but it's like actions that you take while you're high will be considered a crime, you know? So, but it was so like watching this girl and everything. I was like sitting there and there was a fucked up part in my head that was like, Dude, but also, like, wouldn't it kind of be fucking awesome to be in her position yeah. right now? You know, I'm like, right. what is wrong with me? Like, what'd you guys end up doing? Uh, we called the police and waited until they got there and we got her keys away from her. Oh, we just shit. were so the, these like this couple that was sitting in a car next to them that was like, we already called. She's high as a kite, blah, blah, blah. And they were like, police said to stay away from her. And I kind of just like looked in uh. her car. And I was like, no, she, I was like, dude, this girl's just a junkie. And like, she's high and she's scared. There was like cigarettes in her car, a bunch of sodas and stuff. I'm like, this girl's just high as fuck, you know? And so I walked up to her and I was like, hey, like, are you okay? Can I help you with anything? And I'm like, you know, if you need anything, just let me know. And I was like, I'll, I'm right here and I can help you out if you need anything. Because I was worried like she was going to OD, you know? Right. Whatever. Police got there and it, they didn't arrest her, I don't think. They probably like. I don't know what they did with her, but they they weren't very aggressive when they got there, which was good. And we had already taken our keys from her, so she couldn't fucking. What state was it? I think it was Indiana. Mm. But yeah, I mean, that like at least for the like self loathing and like the shitty thoughts that you have or whatever. Mm-hmm. I'm like, I'm watching this girl. Quite possibly, could have been the worst day of her life. You know, when she because it's like probably when she wakes up. But like, you know, is not nodding off high. Mm. She's probably going to be like, oh, my God, what the fuck did I do? And it's like it could have gone a lot worse if she right. drove into the fucking street and like maybe killed someone, vice versa, whatever. But that day in that girl's life, because she kept asking for this guy. And I'm like, what do we what happened to this guy? What if that guy died? What if that's her boyfriend? And he like OD'd or whatever, you know. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, it was just even watching her. I like saw myself. Because of like, you know, when I was using and doing all that and I was like, I did like see myself in her and I was like, oh my God, this is so fucking sad. Like, I'm so lucky I'm not there. But then like we got in the car and I was like, yeah, but like it would be kind of tight if I could just like get <laughs> fucked up a couple, you know, just a couple more tight, you know, I don't know, what's the problem? What's the deal? Holy shit. There ain't no problem with that, you know? And I had to be like, woo, all right, <laughs> shaking that off. <laughs> oh shit. It was almost like I prepared myself, my brain for that moment too, though, because I was watching a ton of those soft white underbelly videos on YouTube. The Mm -hmm. ones I was telling you about were basically a photographer like interviews people and they can be, you know, con artists, um, uh, convicted sex offenders, drug addicts, prostitutes, whatever. So I'd been like watching that channel obsessively for the last two days, kind of like remembering like, man, I can't believe I used to be like this. Like I could be a person in this position. Right. And then the, we're like the next day I saw that girl and I was like, whoa, dude, I, I could do that again. Yeah. I was like, yeah, but dude, I bet she feels fucking good right now. And then I was like, no, stop. it. <laughs> she probably didn't feel much of anything. No. No, not at all. But it's like, how can we like come as far as we do and like do so well? Right. And then still your brain is like, no, you want to do that. That's yeah. cool. Yeah. It's like, oh. You should be sad. The world has wronged you. And and everything's going to fall apart anyway, so you might as well just fucking ruin it. Might you as know? well get fucked up. Yeah, or, you know, be like succumb to all your depression or whatever it is. Even though that like negative self-talk too, like I have that shit all do the time. You, do you have negative self-talk or weird thoughts? Me? Yeah. Um, All the above. Okay. And the more you try to stop them, the worse it gets. Yeah. Well, That's the weirdest part. Um, At least with mine, it does. I have to just think like, okay, yeah. that was a weird thought. Uh, Moving on. Yeah, the thing for me, I try, uh, okay, I learned, okay, those things are not, I did not put those words in my head. They were programmed for me. So I had to come to learn, yeah, that those are not my words and my thoughts. Those are from someplace else and someone else. <sighs> So that's the thing well, I gonna... try to go to first. Yeah. And then weed. We're For gonna sure. start a GoFundMe to uh beat that person up. It's already dead. <laughs> Whoa, that was kind of epic. Yeah, it's just uh ugh. the weird thing that I do in my head that I told you about, you were like like 
Dude, I was doing it today. The I was, spelling thing? Yes. It's psycho. <laughs> and I know it is. I was literally sitting on the couch today watching the boys. I've watched two, two, two full seasons, essentially, in 24 hours. And I feel good. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there is no better way to come home from tour than that. I was just like, I am chilling hard watching TV. G- Sophia came by, brought me a big old iced tea from a quick trip oh, in a yeah. badass styrofoam cup. And we were just chatting it up like elderly women. <laughs> Drinking our fucking ice, unsweetened iced teas. And, but I was watching the boys today and I saw like a note that Homelander wrote to someone and it was like, XO Homelander. And, you know, I'm reading and processing it. And while I'm still reading all the subtitles, watching everything that's going on, having feelings about everything that's going on in the show, I'm writing in my hand slash on my leg, Homelander, and trying to make sure that the L is capital (laughs) for a while. It was like not even conscious. And I do this is all it the time. Two, is it separate words? No, one Why word. Why would the L be capital in there? Because I do the capital H, capital, the H is capital, O is lowercase, M is capital, E oh, is every lowercase. Other? Every other. Like that Ooh. meme when people make fun of people. And right. I think this started when I was from AIM in elementary school because girls would have a screen name that's like XO sexy girl and the right right the S would be capital the E would be lowercase the X is capital right, and right. then the I maybe they'd have like three cool eyes afterwards <laughs> and kind of really throw you for a loop like wait I thought sexy was spelled S E X Y I don't know I got a weird thing with the eyes in my brain and it's I mean sometimes I'll be talking to you looking at you and in my brain over and over again I'm just spelling. Libby over and over again. And I get so mad because I can't lowercase the B. So I have to do two capital B's and it's like, I'll sacrifice it. Like, I'm like, no, it's fine because the two B's are like the same and it looks cute still. It's like capital L lowercase I B B. But yeah, I mean, I'll be spelling things out on my vape too. I'll be like, Hey, it's fucking crazy. I can't stand that capital E at the end though. Really? Don't put that capital E at the end. As long as the L's are, because I don't like when the L's are lowercase, because then you mistake it for an I, and that could just throw the whole system off, Well, this man. is fucking my brain up. I don't want the capital E. Well, good thing you don't think this constantly. <laughs> it, oh, man, it's all the time. And certain little words will blow a It'll be like a little word cloud comes up in my head while I'm talking to someone. And they're like, oh, man, that's God. That must be complicated. And then I'm like, oh, it totally is. Oh, fuck. How do I capitalize the L and the I together? And like, <laughs> uh, I'm like, what? In my brain. But the whole time I'm like remaining cool. Like, going, mm-hmm, dude, mm-hmm. I'm like, oh, dude, good to see you. <laughs> and in my brain, everything's on fire because like certain letters can't. That If an L has to be lowercase, I'm fucking done. It's like I want to leave. Wherever I'm at. So a person that's named Alan? Well, oh yeah, that's tough. So that's what, <laughs> here's what I would do in that situation. I would have the A B lowercase and then I would have the two L's capitalized next to each other and then the E lowercase and then the N capitalized. Oh God, I can't stand capital letters in the middle of words. It's tough, but I mean, you have to sacrifice what you have to in your brain to have a capital L and to have a capital L and a lowercase I next to each other. It's like. My, I feel at peace. It's almost like when my Satisfier Pro 2 brings me to Climax or my partner <laughs> climax. brings me to Climax. Climax! <laughs> what if I, when I talked about coming, I actually said Climax in a I'm real way? I'm going to Climax! <laughs> I'm climaxing! <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, isn't that disgusting? Well, Randy, thanks for sharing that with us. Yeah. Very welcome. You know what? I, I do this that shit like because I have Tourette's too. A lot of people don't know that, and I I keep that under control pretty well. I sing a lot of this shit. Yeah. Like I'm I'll, I was looking for it on my phone. I think because I, I took a bunch of videos off. I'll have to look on my computer. But I started recording them at work when I would start Tourettesing out and start singing shit like. You know, you're a dirty piece of shit, piece of shit. You're a no good piece of shit, yeah. piece of shit. So and it, it, it manifests like in show tune form sometimes. And that's pretty funny. So I started recording it. Um, Megan oh, yeah. from uh, Funny Bone. Bone and I were talking about it. Does she and, have Tourette's? Yeah. And we were like, I was like, dude, I'll start recording them for you. Yeah. And, and play, I started playing them for you. So yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll dig them up. They're pretty funny. Oh, I love that shit. That shit's funny. Hell yeah, dude. I mean, I'm always here for a musical number. 
if there is a show tune, a musical number, anything, <laughs> I am there. And it could be about the darkest possible thing, but I'm still there for it. What about Jesus Christ Superstar, like we were listening on the way over here? Oh, I was yeah. blocking that out, though, on t- t- Tire Drive. No, Why? I'm just kidding. I've just never really listened to Jesus Christ Superstar. And I think about the few girls in my elementary school that had so many Jesus Christ Superstar shirts. And they had... <laughs> Uh, they they wore like the they're always white the sketchers that weren't cool and they wore the transitional lenses in um, 1998 so you know sorry I got distracted about my bedroom issue oh yeah I think yeah but yeah so sorry, Rafe's at the say. funny bone this weekend I didn't mean to interrupt your lips sorry no oh, you're fine I'm typing she's anyway. on her phone. Race at the Funny Bone this weekend? Yeah, he's headlining at the Funny Bone this weekend. Which for uh, slop fans, when you listen to this, uh, that'll already have passed. So <laughs> don't try to go to the Funny Bone and see him, okay? Because you, you already you already missed your chance. You and don't ever me. go to the Funny Bone and try to see me, me or Tina headlining because it won't happen. Nope. Um, but you can go to uh, the Funny Bone. <laughs> what? Are you doing St. Charles next weekend, Randy? Yeah, I'm there with... Uh, Craig, uh... Cognit? Cognit? Excuse me. Conant. He's so funny. He's I'm in love funny. with him. He's like... He looks like... I shouldn't I shouldn't roast the headliner that I haven't worked for yet on the pod, but I'm gonna... He looks like uh, less emo Max Price. I love him. I wish we could see him. We're gonna be out of town. Yeah. yeah. We're gonna be in L.A. Yay. Yay. I met that guy in L.A. Nicest guy. Of. Nicest guy ever. Yeah. Um. Bought one of his shirts. Uh. God. What is what is his saying? <laughs> he always talks about his big booty mama, which made me happy. Um. What is his little saying? I don't know. I don't remember. All I know is I'm at a fresca and I'm about to flip a fucking. <laughs> I'm about to flip my gourd. Oh, how do how do you think I feel? I uh. Left at 4.30 to pick Tina up at 5. Didn't get so that to we her house at 5.30. We were going to get a soda from McDonald's. We were going to go to McDonald's, and I was going to get the largest unsweetened iced tea that I could possibly get. And Libby was going to get the largest Coca-Cola beverage that she could possibly get. And we were going to enjoy them together on the podcast. But St. Louis traffic strikes again. Yeah. Um. We've We both have such a good base stand going on right now. I just looked at you, and I was like, wow. We look fucking good. I laid out at the pool in, oh, God, New Orleans. Every time I say it, I want to cry. Uh, I'm going to, I've marked up New Orleans as the same town as New York. Anything that has a new in front of it, I'm not going to. If it's too noisy, stinks too bad, too much going on, don't send me there. What about New England? I don't know. Me neither. If I it's don't a know state, any- I ain't going. I don't know anything about it. Don't have your streets smell like piss. And the, not not every street smells like piss. Well, the one like that, I, that I was on smelled like piss. I go, holy fuck. Oh, I talked to the Uber driver. I go, do people just piss out here? He goes, no, that's the horses. Okay, stop making horses carry people around. Oh, yeah. Well, you ain't going to win that fight in Nolens. Those poor horses can't even go to a restroom and take a break. They got to piss on the street as they're walking. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's what birds do. They well, just shit on the go. They're free they're to do free. it. Yeah, they are. Horses. They're carrying around lunatic trunks all the time. Yeah. And people going, woo! Yeah. Oh, yeah. People are hyped in New Orleans. I've really enjoyed the city. I thought it was very cool. But, well, I it, mean, you also had a it's difficult It's nice time. for people that are able-bodied. Sure. For someone that's not as able-bodied, fucking sucks. It's hard to get around. Even when they say there's no steps, there's steps. Yeah. Like the hotel I had in had an elevator, but the place to go to my room, there were some steps. Which is fine. I did it. But what about the people in wheelchairs? Where are they going to sleep? Yeah. Not there. No, they're not. I just always think, what about a person in a wheelchair? How would they maneuver this? Yeah. There, uh, Dude, I saw, here's what I'll say. We were in uh, New Orleans and I saw a guy in a wheelchair, spray painted gold, head to toe, front <laughs> and back of him, his wheelchair and everything. And I laughed so hard when I saw him. Was he doing a a performance? Let me show you a photo. No. Literally, I walk up to him. I go, my man, are you okay? He goes, yeah. 
I said, you want some of my beer? And he goes, nah. And he held up a Mountain Dew. And I was like, good for you, brother. <laughs> you want some of my beer? I didn't know if he was like a homeless guy walking around all willy nilly. Here, look, I'll show you the photo of him. Uh, he tries to look up wheelchair guy. Randy, I'll send you the picture so we can put it in this episode. Scroll through those. There's a couple. But yeah, I mean, the guy is spray painted gold. And what I, was he doing? Oh, dude, he was moving and grooving down Bourbon Street in a wheelchair. He was moving and grooving. Looks like he is missing one foot. I don't think he was. I think I looked down. He had both feet. Tina, that's not a foot. <laughs> <laughs> that's a pant leg tied up because there's no foot. Okay, um, I am going to retract that last <laughs> statement. <laughs> Gold wheelchair guy in New Orleans does not. He is missing one foot. And yeah. that's cool. It, it, absolutely cool. I'm not saying. Cool guy. Cool, cool guy alert. Okay, so here's another cool one of him <laughs> zoomed in. And he has his Mountain Dew next to him because I saw him 30 minutes later. Whoa, I mean, he. are you sure he wasn't taking tips or anything? Libby, he was just painted fucking gold. <laughs> just chilling. No performance. People were nice to him, though. In a store, they walked up to him and they just, someone came in and was like, hey, and they like pointed at him and they just gave him a fucking, they gave him a can of Mountain Dew. I mean, the man is gold, head to toe. He's, I mean, the face and everything. He's... His foot that's missing is painted, that little pant leg is painted gold. Oh, yeah. I mean, the guy was moving and grooving down Bourbon Street. So that's my one example for a person in a wheelchair in New Orleans. And he was zooming, <laughs> went forward, backward. I mean, he, he was just, he was going all over the place. Seemed a little lost, but I mean, I I, I was just laughing. I we all my, feel lost there. For sure. Where I go, am I? I go, hey, man, I go, how you doing? You okay? He goes, yeah. <laughs> Painted gold, <laughs> head to toe. I said, hell yeah, brother. And then we pounded it. I asked him if he wanted some of my beer. He goes, nah, holds up a Mountain Dew. What about if he's it? actually a paint huffer and all that paint is from him huffing paint? Great. He's that, <laughs> Then he's showing how much paint he's huffed in his life. Because none of that paint is still active. For the paint to be active to huff, it's got to be fresh, you know? I wonder what that guy's name was. Randy, what do you think about that? Do you think, like, if someone's... When do you think huffing paint, like, when it kind of loses its odor? A few days? Probably. Well, uh, I don't know. I've never huffed paint. I paint with paint at work (laughs) every day. That's right. And, uh... Yeah, I gotta say, I'm probably gonna have some effects from that a little bit later on in life. Man, I wish you could paint my whole house in 10 minutes. I wish you could paint my body gold right now. <laughs> Do you spray or use a what's called a brush and roller? Um, mostly I use what's called a brush and roller. I do, however, have a few sprayers depending upon the application and the situation I will spray. Ooh, spray me, Spray's daddy. It's messy. Oh, I bet it's messy. Yeah. You probably can't do it inside a house. But on yeah, Instagram, it looks cool. When Sometimes they... I spray cabinets inside of a house, but you got to mask everything off. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I would love to. I, I commissioned Randy last year to paint something in my house, and then it just like got to the point where I'm like, dude, fuck this. This is too much. And then I was like, I'm going to do it myself. And then I was like, no, I'm not. Yeah. This is all my stuff's in here. If everything was not in there, I would do it. But it's just too stressful. Painting takes forever. Oh, God. I can barely keep my fucking house clean. I'm not going to start trying to be Vincent Van motherfucking go up in my house. If I didn't have to do the edging and the taping, I could sit there and paint with a roller all day. But all that bullshit going up there, making sure it's straight. No, I don't want to do that. Oh, man. That was my 20s and 30s. Painting with a, I like to do the little M's with it. And then you go horizontal and then you go up. That's nice. Do you do M's when you paint? Oh, wow. Do you do a W? Uh, if I'm just rolling walls at work, nah, man, fuck that shit. I just go up and down as fast <laughs> as I can to get that Ooh, done. It's hot. That's right, ma'am. Up, down, really? up, down, fast as you so, can. So you think that if I wanted to, I could potentially paint the walls of my house up, down as fast as I can, and I could get the desired uh, the 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 desired outcome that I'm looking for? Yeah, you just gotta buy good paint, man. Just make sure you overlap very well uh don't leave any blank spots oh and uh i go i start in the middle like this and then i spread it out ceiling to floor up and down one side some guys go left to right some go right to left doesn't matter to me whichever 
Yeah. What about if you're working in a situation where my walls are made of plaster and they some of them go in like that? You're gonna have to really eat. Yeah, get in there. Sometimes you gotta. Yeah. What I would do maneuver is maneuver side the, side, but yeah. What I would do in that case is maybe put the paint inside of your mouth and spit it onto. <laughs> I could try uh, that. The the um, affected area. That's what I think I would do. That's that sounds good for application. Mm-hmm. You know, learning a lot about Randy today. He paints up and down, up and down as fast as he can. <laughs> okay, that's the name of this episode. Up and down, up and down as fast as I can. Got it. Let's go. Yeah, I, um. Hey, spooked you, didn't I? Spooked me. <laughs> Boo. Boo. Boo, Yakasha. Boo, Yakasha. <laughs> <laughs> this episode of Slop City Podcast is brought to you and me and all of us by Manscaped. Manscaped. Yep, Manscaped has the personal downstairs trimmer that you need, brothers. Lawnmower 4.0, you can't beat it, okay? You could use it in the front and the rear. Yeah, you do. You use it wherever. I use it on my cucaracha. Rafe used it on his cock. (laughs) And And it's waterproof. You can use it in the shower, so you don't have to get errant hairs all over the bathroom floor, the kitchen floor, the bathroom floor, wherever you might eat shave yeah. <laughs> yeah so it's just that's what you got to do so go to www.manscape.com enter our code ranch, ranch! for 20 percent off and, and free uh, shipping yep free shipping ranch! <laughs> okay so what did you say about the overlapping you do want to overlap or you don't want to overlap yeah absolutely you do uh you want to overlap yeah you want to go long Straight up and down, long. continuous strokes, long. Okay, all the way Stroking. up, all the but way down. But what if I when uh, I when I move on to the where next? Where am I? <laughs> oh God, you're coming in the fucking <laughs> room that your painter's <laughs> painting again. You got to get out, ma'am. This is uh, I just don't the up and down for me. <laughs> I know. I just don't know how many times that we have to tell you, like you know, we. We are so grateful you gave us a job, okay? We re- we really are grateful that you gave us a job, but this is a big job. I mean, your home is 20,000 square feet. Oops, just spilled red wine <laughs> okay. all over the wall. You got to go up and down again. All right. Um, Kevin, can you get, o- get over here and maybe... Why don't you leave the room for a minute, Kevin, and let me have the floor with uh, Miss... What was your last name again? I can't... I I didn't commission Bracket. this job. Miss Brackett. Okay. Um, Listen... We really appreciate you hiring us mm-hmm. to do this job. I mean, this is, you know, as as the owner of Up and Down, as fast as I can, as fast as I can, painting. <laughs> up and down, up and down, as fast as I can, painting. Yeah. Um, and, you know, I just want to be clear. We're, we're trying to make a really good brand, so I would love it if when you do rec- tell people uh, about the company, you say up and down, up and down, as fast as I can painting. That's all I ask. I do. I Um, tell them, I go up and down, up and down, up and down as fast as I can. All right. Miss Brackett. um, So usually I would would be thrilled about this kind of flattery and come on. Uh, but it's not just me. You're kind of doing it to anybody that has a roller. You know, my son, yeah. my son comes on the weekends on the jobs. And listen, he's 17. He's almost 18. It's not a big deal. You know, I, I, I would love for him to have a Mrs. Robinson moment in his life. I, I would be totally fine with that. But you're making the kid on uncon- He doesn't know what to do around you. You're hold- he's holding the roller. He's, he's there on 18, a Saturday. isn't he? Yeah, he he's- is. Yeah, he is 18. He's 12. Tri- yep, pretty much. Have you ever uh, had somebody stand against the wall naked and painted over them with your roller? <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> Sorry, I saw that in this. <laughs> I saw it in. A, I saw it in this por- por- pornography film I was watching one time. It was called Painters and Tits, right? And cocks. It's one of my favorites. <laughs> No fucking way. No one likes that. You, you I, gotta, you're out of your fucking mind. There is no fucking come in way here, you've come seen Come here and that. look at the bedroom. You see that silhouette? That's me. No. I had him fuck. painted hunter green. Painted me in with it. And so, what? you were totally naked. And then, why didn't you turn around and take your tits and just step on it? 
because like, the, like Beatrice does in that film. And then her her nipples are all over there. Listen, I'm, I, be I'm not trying to be. I'll be honest with you. It all started when I watched that music video for Never Since You Turned Me Off. I can't remember the name of the guy. Gautier. I, I remember that video. So, uh, something I like to say to my friends when I get them in a joke. <laughs> I, I love to scream, got yay! <laughs> Ever since I saw that video, I have had a fetish about getting painted into a wall. So I actually have never seen that video. I just saw the heard the guy's name on the radio one time, and they were you know they were really r- roasting him. Well, and- they shouldn't have roasted him because he created a lifestyle for me that is. I mean, I I'm the only uh, paint painter on the wall fetishist that I know of. I can't find a Facebook group, a Yahoo group, or any group where people love to be painted into a wall. I just happen to be the the first and the president of the Painted Into the Wall Fetish Fan Club. You've got other members? Well, not yet. Oh, okay. I'm okay. Looking. This is something you're kind I of working the- on. Well, listen, as a small business owner uh, of the up and down, up and down, as fast as I can painting company, I would like... To let you know that I support you in in your um, mission to to have your own uh, business, <laughs> uh, I really do. I totally, I totally support you. So that is a really cool thing. While I may not necessarily agree with it, uh, and listen, it's not that I don't agree with it. It's that I, you know, me. If it was up to me and I was the only one painting all these rooms <laughs> and it was just me and you painting it up for the next few weeks, you know, while we paint this entire weeks? home. Weeks? You'd do it for weeks? Oh, <sighs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you, we're talking 20,000 square feet, lady. Do you not understand measurements and room? I mean, that is a lot of space. 20,000 square feet. Who? You know. You'd do it in every room? Well, yeah, of course I'd do it in every room. If it was just me and you, I'm saying, but I can't be subjecting my guys to this kind of stuff because it just gets a little, gets a little tough. I mean, you know, my son's getting, he's just, you know, he's, he's a young buck. He's not, I don't even think he's lost his virginity. You know what what I mean? I saw him trying to put a condom on a banana and he was sucking it. And you know, the whole, (laughs) I mean, I'm just pretty confused about the whole thing altogether because I've always raw dogged it, but not a big, okay, go ahead. How about you paint me into a wall? Uh All right. All right. And then I'm blending in and then you say, hey, Ralph, come in here. Paint this one fuchsia. And then he won't see me painted into the wall at first. He'll see me obviously when he comes up on me, but he'll start painting and then, oh, and then I'll say up and down, up and down, up and down as fast as you can, Ralph. Whoa. (laughs) Whoa. And it'll probably startle him. But once he realizes that I'm naked, he'll get excited. All right. Listen, that's actually a pretty good fucking idea. And uh, I will be, but I can't just do this with anyone, you know, as a new business, small business owner of the company called Up and Down, Up and Down, as fast as I can painting. I can't just be, you know, just just subjecting anybody to this. So what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to have to have all my guys take a test on a Scantron and just see if this is something they might be open to. And I'll subliminally hide it. But when I do that, when I do that, Mrs. Brackett, uh-huh. <laughs> mind you me, I'm coming over with fucking 50,000 gallons of paint. Whoa. And I'm going to paint your fucking ass into the wall. <gasps> yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. Um. Hey, boys, it's lunchtime. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, take a long one, no problem. What do you think about that? No, 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 don't come in here. Don't come in. <laughs> You're totally naked <laughs> already, and like you've been taking the paint and dipping it all over your body the whole time. No, get, stay out of there. <laughs> <laughs> up and down, up, up and, and down, down, as fast as I can, can. Painting Company. Look it up on Facebook. Hi, I'm Ray Varner. <laughs> And I'm teaming, teaming up, up with up, up and down, up and down, down as fast as, as I can, can paying company. <laughs> uh, hi, I'm Ray Varner. As <laughs> Hi, I'm Ray Varner. As a owner of a car dealership company, I would like to let you know 
today that I will be teaming up <laughs> with Randy Cash, <laughs> owner of Up and Down, Up and Down as Fast as I Can, painting company today. So I don't know how many of you are familiar with this bit that Tina's doing, but we saw a car dealership sign that said Ray Varner. And it's become a joke for two weeks now. Yeah. Ray Varner teams up with almost anyone. Mm -hmm. Hi, I'm Ray Varner. <laughs> and I am teaming up with Trailer Park Trash Tammy. Local celebrity. Hi, I'm Ray Varner and I own a car dealership company. company. I'll be teaming up with local celebrity Trailer Park Trash Tammy. Hi. I'm Ray Varner. I'm teaming up with Fresca to bring you one of the best sparkling soda waters out there. Citrus soda water. He teams up with so many people. Now, there are some people he won't team up with. Yeah, he will not team up with uh, a lot of people. Hi, I'm Ray Varner. I will not be teaming up with the band ICP. Mm -mm. Insane Clown Posse. Oh, my God. <laughs> I didn't even, why didn't we even think to Google it? I don't know. That's where it was. It was in Tennessee. Oh, show us a picture of him right now. Hi. Oh, wait, I have the mask. That's Ray Varner. Hi, this is me, Ray Varner. <laughs> and I'm teaming up with the guys at, I'm teaming up with my absolute best friend, Terry, from Terry's, Terry's Transmissions. Transmissions. Okay, uh, Ray, I know you say we're best friends. But you know absolutely nothing about me. What are you talking, uh, Ray? Or oh God! I'm see, getting, see what I mean? You call me Ray because uh, you call I'm me getting, your own I'm name. I'm getting twisted up. I see my face on a billboard every <laughs> single day. What am I supposed to do? Hi, I'm Ray Varner. Think Ford. Think Ray Varner Ford first. <laughs> Hello, I'm Ray Varner, and I'm teaming up with local panini sandwich <laughs> shop and delicatessen. Panini's rule. Dude, you got to get a blue polo. Oh, I'm getting one. I need to get one, absolutely. I think Ray Varner is definitely wearing a cowboy hat while he's teaming up with ever, anyone. Ray Ho Varner Ford. Hopefully this goes viral enough that Ray Varner will see it one day and be like, hey, are they talking about me? No, he's going to say, I'm Ra Hi, <laughs> I'm Ray Varner. I heard that your partner, Rafe, has no vehicle. <laughs> I'd like to give him a brand new Ford. <laughs> I'm teaming up with giving you a new Ford. I'm teaming up with TikTok social media <laughs> website <laughs> to give you. He always explains everything a little too much. Right. Like, we know, Ray, we know that you're with Ford. You don't <laughs> have to say that it's a car dealership company, company. every time. But he, he does. But he does. He has to. Because it's his catchphrase. I mean, Matt, could you imagine hearing that every day? Hi, I'm Ray Varner. <laughs> and I'm teaming up. I am a car dealership company owner. I wonder if Ray Varner's actually done ever done a commercial. I'd love to hear Ray Varner's actual voice. What if he it turns it on and it's exactly like you're doing? Hi, I'm Ray Varner. I would go to his building dressed up as him and I would walk in and just start <laughs> saying that I'm Ray Varner. Hi. What if Ray Varner gets a bunch of customers because of us? Well, then he's going to need to team up with us. He's going to need to get a whole shipment of new cars. I'm teaming up with getting a whole shipment of new cars. Hi, I'm Ray Varner, owner of Car Dealership Company. I'm teaming up with local celebrity Libby Higgins. Whoa. And local celebrity Tina D. Ball. Die Ball. Die Ball. D's Balls. <laughs> <laughs> Gautier. <laughs> I, oh, I go to you. <laughs> God. God, I love having fun. <laughs> I love money. God, I love money. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. I mean, the amount of laughter that we have shared the last three months is actually unreal. It should be illegal. It should be illegal how funny all of us are. There have, been, there have been days that my stomach has physically hurt from how hard we laughed on tour. Hi. Hi. I must have just drove right on by. It's closed right now, though. Yeah. Well, I mean, 
it's 6.43. Maybe they've got pretty good hours. Let's check out their hours. I'd like to know because a lot of car dealerships have pretty bad hours. You know, they're very uh, taxing. Oh, let's see what, wait, scroll up. Ray Varner Ford is in Knoxville, Tech, Tech Tennessee. Uh, hi, I'm Ray Varner, <laughs> owner of a car dealership company. On a scale of one to 10, how badly do you want to ride in this Ford Classic? Windows down, music, music up, up, and memories in the making. I'm teaming up with memories. <laughs> Holy fuck. Oh, they're hiring a full-time cleanup attendant. Ooh, what's a cleanup attendant? Is that a nice way of saying a janitor? Probably the person that uh, cleans up the car right before you get it. Oh, yeah, when they blast it off and put that pointless piece of fucking paper in there? Yep. Oh, God, I get pissed about that. There's Ray Varner. Can can we play this? Beautiful cyber orange, ready to go. Go back. Full screen. Here at Ray Varner Ford, we have a 2019 Ford Mustang EcoBoost. Beautiful cyber orange, ready to go, local trade. Here at Ray Varner Ford, we have a 2019 <laughs> Ford Mustang EcoBoost. Beautiful cyber orange, ready to go, local trade. I love the way he says, local trade. Local trade. That is cool. I love that he does his own commercials. Oh, God. And the way he, oh, he, I mean, this is a, this is a guy, you know. <laughs> That is a Ray Varner is not a force to be messing with. Oh Uh-oh. yeah, here's another one. He's looking stylish there. Come visit there. our quick lane tire. Hi, I'm Ray Varner from Ray Varner. <laughs> Come visit our quick lane tire. Oh, holy, yeah. holy shit! I gotta send this to Chelsea immediately. A hundred percent needs to go to her right now. Hi, I'm Ray Varner from Ray Varner Ford and Clinton. No, no, fucking no. <laughs> way, dude. Holy. Hi, I'm Ray Varner. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> the fact that I'm going to make a character based on this guy and he's already a real guy Is makes hilarious. it even funnier. I'm dead, dude. <laughs> Hi, I'm Ray Varner. <laughs> I cannot believe we never Googled him. Why didn't we? Hi, I'm Ray Varner from Ray Varner Ford Company. Come visit our Quick Lane Tire and Auto Center. Commercial vehicles, personal vehicles, pickup trucks, you name it, we service them for all your vehicle needs. Ray Varner Ford and Clinton. He's he's kind of like uh, he's a lot like Terry from Terry Transmissions. Yep, they do have a well. T- I mean, Ray Varner and Terry from Terry's Transmissions are obviously. Absolute best friends, even though I know nothing about Terry from Terry's transmissions. Even she she lists things that she has. I'm gonna write watch this now immediately. <laughs> yeah. Hi. Hi, I'm Ray Varner. <laughs> Holy fuck. I can't believe that's how he started the <laughs> I mean, to a T. We didn't fucking watch it or anything. We've never watched he it. Didn't, he didn't start it off with like, boom, here, Ray Varner Ford. I mean, it was just, hi, hi I'm, I'm Ray, Ray Varner. Varner. Which is exactly what Tina did the very first time she did the bit. Holy fucking shit, dude. That is an epic commercial. Hi. I can't... <laughs> Do it. Hi, I'm Ray Varner. <laughs> And I'm teaming up with myself to bring you unprecedented commercials. Hi, I'm Ray Varner. I'm in the middle of a car shop right now at my car <laughs> dealership company. I'm just looking through to see if we get any more gold. I don't know if Ray Varner's in there. Oh, man, that was the greatest thing I have. Oh, there, oh, he oh, oh, there he is. There he is. Ray Varner Ford and Clinton. Come out. He does it. Hi, I'm Ray Varner. From Ray Varner Ford and Clinton. Come out and see us today for all your automotive needs. Sales, service, parts, quick oh, auto See, center. he lists Ray all Varner the things Ford like Terry Clinton. does. We have transmissions. We have fluids. Hi, we have oil. Ray Varner Ford and Clinton. Come out and see us today for all your automotive needs. Hi, I'm Ray Varner from Ray Varner Ford and Clinton. Come oh. out and see us today for all your automotive needs. Sales, service, parts, quick lane tire and auto center. Ray Varner Ford and Clinton. <laughs> oh I cannot God. wait to do Terry videos and Ray Varner videos together. Holy, Holy shit. Fucking shit. I'm dead. Hi, I'm Ray Varner. Because what else would he say? 
I just love that it's not hello, hey, right. it's, it's hi, hi, I'm Ray Varner. <laughs> Uh-oh, there he is again. Oh, yep, <laughs> let's do it. Let's just go through them all. I'm Ray Varner from Ray Varner Ford Oh, my God. Come out. Hi, I'm Ray Varner from Ray Varner Ford and Clinton. Come out and see us today. <laughs> For all your service needs, see J.P. Wagner, Scott Sprayberry, or Mike Purcell. Six days a week, Monday through Saturday, 8 till 6 p.m. Come out. No one's going to believe that you didn't watch this first. No, but no I'm one. here to, to tell you that she didn't. This is the first time watching it. First time watching it. We didn't do it at all. It Me? makes no sense why we didn't. Look I have him up. three witnesses. Also, I have not. I have Libby, Chelsea, and Beth. And well, Greg wasn't there when it was uh, started. But I mean, this is unreal. Chelsea said something, but I want to. I can't even fucking believe this. <clears throat> oh, I love that he. Stop. 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 <laughs> We're doing the podcast right now. And we never once thought to Google him. And we cannot believe that the man said, hi, I'm Ray Barter. People are. <laughs> what are you going to say? People are not going. <coughs> People are not going to believe me when you oh, stop because you went sideways. Sakes. Okay, Randy. Yeah, this good. will be our last bit. People are not going to believe me when I say that I started doing the bit. Hi, I'm Ray Varner. Before we watch the fucking <laughs> videos, and I said I have three motherfucking witnesses. I have you, Beth, and Libby. And holy fuck, dude. I can't wait to team. Hi, I'm Rave Arner, <laughs> and I can't wait to team up with Terry from Terry's Transmissions at my car dealership company. <laughs> she said, Rave Arner. <laughs> oh my God, dude. What a fucking blast. <clears throat> we, we're not going to start stop, you know, early today, but we do have to stop on time because Randy has stuff to do. So, uh, what time is it? It's six fifty. We could have, we could even just end it here in yeah, the next let's few stop minutes. Stop it here because it's funny. Yeah, we can just wrap it all up. They always say to end your improv scene on a high laugh, and that was a high laugh. That was it, and we need, we need, just need to cut it there. But wow, this week I'm gonna bring Ray Varner um, clothing to uh, <laughs> when we d- go to LA. So, uh, okay. Yep, I'm gonna bring the polo because I gotta do some thrift shopping this week for um, Tammy Bangs. So. I need to do some too, actually. I can not fucking wait. All my business casual clothes are too big. Yeah. Definitely go to the thrift shop. Need a sports coat. Yeah, you need a blazer. You can't be walking around all willy-nilly without right. a blazer. Um, cool. Well, we are back for the foreseeable future on um and usually when people say foreseeable, they hear unforeseeable. Right. But I'm saying it in a positive way. We are back in action for the foreseeable Foreseeable. future um and you know we're 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 glad to be back podcast is not ending everybody fucking take a breath okay it's not and here's the cool part if hypothetically something was to happen where it's like oh we can't do it for a few weeks or whatever you know i know things have been crazy the last few months um We've got like four fucking years worth of episodes, okay? Yeah. That's how long we've been doing this fucking yeah. podcast. I think this November is four years. We're going to have to do a big party. We're going to have to have a huge fucking party. We're going to be having a huge party. Listen up, everybody. It's going to be absolutely wild. Maybe we could wild. do a show yeah. where we do stand up first, then maybe do a, a fucking live podcast yeah. or something. That would be really great. <clears throat> maybe not maybe just a live podcast you yeah, know yeah we could i mean we could do there's so many possible things that we could be doing so with that we are mm-hmm. ending on a high note again we will see you next week at slob city podcast now here's a quick message from our recent sponsor ray varner hi i'm ray varner and i own a car dealership company <laughs> i am Possibly teaming up with Slop City Podcast. Undetermined, because I have not looked at their materials. Probably dirty. Uh, uh, Goodbye. I'm Ray Varner, who owns a car dealership company. And cut. Hell yeah.
yeah, brothers. Hell yeah, brothers. <clears throat> Did it. That we was did great. It. That was a good episode. That was fun. That was fun. That was fun. That was fun. Brunch!